Hey guys, this is Bert with InformalGadget.com and today I'm going to talk about a little feature that Lion OS X has for your Macintosh computers and it's basically called Resume and it does what the name implies and it just resumes where you left off. So if you're in Safari and you're browsing InformalGadget.com here, my website, make sure to visit it and you have a, a whole bunch of tabs opened up so let's see here I have uh, informal gadget news the Apple website and then over here I have uh, my informal gadget YouTube channel and I wanna quit out for the day I'm done browsing the web you just simply go to Safari and quit Safari right so when you wanna go back the next day or whenever you open up Safari again you usually start off at a, with a clean slate and now with the resume, it resumes where you left off. So I could see how this would help some people if they have certain tabs or websites that they always want to have open. But me and I'm sure other people like to always just start off with a clean web browser, just their one home page and not have all these tabs opening up in Safari. Another good example is with QuickTime. So you, if you see here, I have three YouTube videos that I made right here. And if I open, let's say this one, if you notice back here, it's opened all kinds of other QuickTime videos that I have here. And it's not just opening the one video that I want. It's opening all the videos that it has in its little uh, history here. So there's a way to stop this from happening and the way you do that is you go up here to the Apple and you go down to system preferences then you go right here to general which is the first one under personal and you go down here where it says restore windows when quitting and reopening apps so once you uncheck this it'll stop uh, restoring back to what you had open and it'll leave you off with just the clean slate of whatever you're going to do. Unfortunately, there's no options where you could choose which apps you want to resume and which apps you don't. It's just if you want them all to do it, then you click on it. Or if you don't want the resume or restore function, you uncheck this box right here. So now let's get out of here and let's see how that works out. So let's start off with opening up one of these videos. And when you first open QuickTime, it'll still have that memory held in there. So what you're going to have to do is just go ahead and close out of those videos that you have open. And when we go back in, let's see here, let's open a couple of program or videos here for QuickTime. We're going to go to Quit QuickTime and we will reopen and as you can see now it only opens the one video that you're choosing to open it won't open what you had open before you quit QuickTime so now let's go ahead and try the same thing with Safari here as you can see again it's opening all the tabs that it had in memory but now if I go ahead and quit Safari and reopen Safari you'll see now that it just takes me to my home page which is informalgadget.com and none of the tabs are reopened from my previous uh, web searches or whatever I was doing on on Safari so there you go it just helps that little bugging issue that I had that was bothering the crap out of me and uh, hopefully this helped you guys out so go ahead and leave me some comments down below let me know if you like that new resume feature or if you don't like it uh, go ahead and leave any type of comments. I try to reply to my comments as fast as possible. If you like this video, if it helped you out, go ahead and give me a thumbs up down below. Don't forget to subscribe and visit informalgadget.com. Thank you.